Louise? Yeah, I'll stand that way so I can see you. Yeah, uh, my question is, well, I, let me base it all by saying that I understand this, you know, most everyone knows that this country is based on stolen land, that we live on stolen land as a Native American, I remember that. And that genocide was committed against our people, so that's the basis of this country. But my, my question really is about Shahi law and the fact that many of our established religions, the Catholic Church, the Mormon Church, has laws that their members abide by. And I'm, that seems to me that's the argument to make, is we have a country where within any group, even if the Democratic Party, if I do certain things in the Democratic Party, if I you know, support a Republican openly, they can say, we don't want you at certain meetings. And it seems to me that's the logical argument to make, is that Catholics have laws, the Mormons have laws, and certainly Judaism have laws. And that's the argument to say that other people should be able to do the same thing. But, but only if they want to. In other words, yeah. if you, the state cannot enforce religious law against members of religions. Even if they said that they wanted to be part of it, they always have a right to opt out. That's what it means to live in a liberal society. That Jews can leave Judaism, and Catholics can leave Catholicism, and Muslims can leave Islam, and, and the state can't force people to be part of it. Sir? And just one, just one, one other thought. Well, ask your question. Go ahead. I was just going to suggest that the, you know, the, the, the use of language it, it, it contrives difference. And so even if Sharia means the same thing as, say, like religious law in any other context, the fact that it's a different word, kind of like Allah, right, is the Muslim word for God, but it means the same thing as God, and the God in the Quran is the same God in the Bible, and like the idea that like, people can, they seize upon the use of different words and different languages to contrive difference, and I think it, it reflects a contrived controversy. This whole Islamophobia thing is a contrived controversy, and I, I don't think there's any way around that, and, and I think that, that even if there is a similarity in the way that other faiths approach these issues, you know, the fact that the terms are different creates a vulnerability that a lot of people, I think, are trying to exploit for their political